welcome back to another Craft Sippers Review Stout Sunday edition. Oh, I've been looking forward to this one for a little while. I say that a lot, but you know me. Always got bangers in the bank. So, we've got a collaboration today. Tartarus Beers have teamed up with Neon Raptor to produce Nephil. Have a look at her, guys and girls. Wicked can design, absolutely love it. So, who is Nephil? She is like a Greek goddess. She was the uh, a cloud nymph. In here, to honour her, they put 200 kilograms of fruit, uh, raspberries and blackberries, and then 75 kilograms of kibbled peanuts. They dried them, roasted them, then kibbled them and put them in there. So I'm looking forward to this. So it's a peanut butter and jelly imperial stout coming in at 12%. So, not for the faint hearted, lovely Sunday, not working tomorrow, so happy days. That's why I'm looking forward to drinking this. Kind of like a Saturday for me today. Oi, oi! Anyway, guys, picked this little beauty up from uh, Trembling Madness Order. Uh, saw it on there, was drawn straight away by the cool can. So, my little cloud nymph, let's see what you smell like. Let's get it cracked open. Nice bit of gold on the top there, very nice. It's quite a pricey one, but it's quality, you know. God, yeah, it smells strong. Jelly notes to the nose, like smelling those raspberries. Mainly like raspberry, maybe a bit of blackberry. Can't smell peanuts. Can smell that classic stouty, sm stouty smell. <laughs> Let's get her poured in. Let's get have a look at the old pour can, boys and girls. Nice, thick viscosity. Look at that. No messing. Very dark. Very, very, very dark. A little darker. Look at that, that looks flipping mad. I've got the sun in my eyes, but yeah, that top on there is proper cinder toffee color. Um, just have a look how dark she is. Look at that, absolute delight. I mean, that looks delicious, doesn't it? I mean, that is so beautiful. <clears throat> Lovely. <laughs> Anyway, so what we got to say about that then? Looks very dark and mystifying. Again on the nose, getting jam vibes now. More so jam than raspberry, just on its own. That's pretty much all I can smell. Jam and stout. So let's give her a whirl. Wow, that is immense. So first thing you notice is um, quite a big mouth feel. Oh boy, little kitty down there chilling with me today. Unusual sight, he's been climbing up and down the trees. Anyway, less digression. Um, so nice, nice mouth feel. Um, immediately fruity jam flavors, vibes like peanut, uh, sorry, raspberry and uh, blackberry. Catch has been sick. Didn't like the sound of that. <laughs> really like luxurious, sumptuous. At least you're doing it outside, not in the house, boy. You're right. That sounds disgusting. Well, I'm enjoying it, boy. Peanut vibes. A little bit of peanut, but I'm getting loads of peanut. There you go. I'm noticing it more now. I'm drinking it. Because at first, the, the the fruit really gets you first. Like, lovely. Really lovely, jammy. Right. Peanut butter jelly sandwiches, I guess. Or peanut butter and jam, as we have it over here. But you get a very light peanut. It's not the most in your face. It could be maybe ramped up a bit. Um, but yeah, that is a really lovely stout, so. I'm gonna wrap this one up, guys. What am I gonna give out on the big B? That's a four out of five all day long. It's absolutely lovely. I love the design. I love their attention to detail. Lovely fresh fruit flavors. Just thought for a bit of extra points, it could be a bit more peanut in there. You can taste it. 
Um, I'm not going to knock it. You can taste it, but it's, it's quite subtle. It's really, really nice, and I, I'm really enjoying it. Um, bring us back to the classic Wubba. Would I buy that again? Yeah, why not? I would. I'd share that with someone, share it with Beza. I'd get my brother a sip and hear him tell me how disgusting it is. It's so strong, the alcohol. Oh, getting back to the alcohol. Didn't really notice the alcohol too much. Maybe a little, you do feel the warming as I was drinking it. It's a bit chilly out here. I'm in my gilet. And I, it was a nice warming sensation I got from that. So yeah, really nice beer. Like I said, just thought the peanut could be ramped up a, a notch or three. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget, craft underscore sippers on the old Insta and the old YouTube. And all I have to say guys is peace out. Catch you on the next one. Later.